I am still working with Billy. He is a third grade boy. He is reading a passage, a graded, a graded passage. This is at the first grade level, reading level one. Billy is in third grade. When you see SC in the text here, that is a self-correction. That is a good thing. When you see the highlighted word crossed out, he missed the word completely. And when I write the word on top, that's what he said. So let's see what Billy does. It's called a mouse in a house. I think I read this one before. Oh, I hope so. Then it will be super easy for you. But you are doing a great job. All right. A mouse in the house. Can you see that? Yeah. Right. Once there was a mouse in the house, he lived in a way... Wait, what is this word? What do you think of Wall, wall of an old house. Each night, the mouse went... To the kitchen. He wanted to find something to eat. The man wo oh, wait, well, what is, I don't know that word. Who? Who live, lived in the house hard? The mouse, he knew the mouse lived in the wall, but he didn't didn't mind. Mind that one day the man, what's that word? Decided. Decided to sell the house. He lived the old, old house, but he it, it was too big. He but and and in the. I don't, what's this one? Paper. Paper. It w said w 100 year old house for sale. Called. What is this? That's like? it, the phone number. 224 3414. Many people called and wanted to visit the house to. People came on Sunday. Uh, they walked up the old, what is this one? St stairs. Stairs when they got the to the top, the mouse ran down the way. While he ran up and down the, what is this one? Inside. Inside of the wall, up and down. The people heard the mouse. Okay, and then. said we don't want the house. The mouse was very happy. He was after that new people would try to get rid of him. Every time someone what is this? Someone. Someone visited the house. The mouse would do the same thing. He would run up and down the wall. What is this one? Between. Between 
the first first and what's that second second force force every time the people lift what is this one left the I dead left oh without without uh buying buying the house then a family came to see the house the house was just the right the size size for the when they walked up the stairs they the mouse ran up and down the walk the heart heard heard him and said oh you have a mouse we love the house so much we'll buy it mouse and Oh, very good. All right. All right. You can see Billy here. Uh, the self-corrections. Notice he reads word by word again, but he does make the correct pauses and inflections after the sentence. SC means self-correction. Again, we're seeing very few letter clues to figure out the words. Uh, he correctly identified 232 out of 250. That was at about the 92% range. His fluency rate was 42 words per minute, and you see it right there. And he correctly identified every single question. His comprehension was excellent. So this is what I said. Bill is in the third grade. I did an analysis. Uh, at the pre-primer level, 17 out of 17 words. Uh, graded reading passages, correctly identified 113 out of 119 words, or 94%. The second grade passage, this is the one we just heard at the first grade level. Correctly identified 232 out of 250, or 92%. Six instances of self-corrections, fluency rate 42 words per minute. He correctly answered all comprehension questions. I would estimate his independent reading level to be at the early first grade level, his instructional level at the mid to late first grade level, and fluency rate, about 42 words a minute. These are all approximations. Notice he stopped, paused, and I had to give him the answers. He was hesitant to use letter clues. The self-corrections tell us that Billy is using context to create meaning with print. This is a good thing, as this is what mature readers do. Also notice instances of metacognition where he stopped to check to see what he read was making sense. Or reading slow and choppy, much of his reading was word by word. Reading where it sounded like a series of words, he seemed to use minimal phonics cues or phonetic cues relying on context and word order to create meaning with print. He stopped and asked for help with words he did not recognize. There was only one instance of minimal phonics cues to identify words. Here relied solely on the first letter. My recommendation, of course, comprehension is just fine. Goals and related interventions should focus on fluency and word identification. The basis of all instruction and intervention activities should be wide reading, however. Billy's creating meaning with print. Find books at Billy's independent level or below. Spend a minimum of 10 minutes a day in independent silent reading. Set a goal for the number of words, pages, or books read each week. You may want to keep a graph. Based on this, I recommend the following strategies. Onset rhyme based on the 38 most frequent photograms. One photogram a day. Review basic letter sound associations. All right. Analytic phonics. Ask Billy to analyze words he hears in print. Dictated writing and scaffolded writing using one or two sentences. And the language experience approach. First thing done every day, minimum of five sentences should be written. Billy should reread until fluency is achieved, then use analytic phonics. Fluency every day, repeated reading. 
replay analysis, scaffolded oral reading, and silent independent reading.